Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court. You've got courtside seats for my review of the brand new Netflix flick, Bright. Let's do it. Bright is an action crime fantasy from writer Max Landis and director David Ayer. The film stars Will Smith, Joel Edgerton, Numi Rapace, Edgar Ramirez, Lucy Fry, and Jay Hernandez. Set in a world where mystical creatures live side by side with humans, a human cop is forced to work with an orc to find a weapon everyone is prepared to kill for. So this film is David Ayer's follow-up to Suicide Squad, a movie that I liked but didn't think was very good. Now, this film is a lot more coherent, it's more competently made. Now, maybe that's just because Netflix let David Ayer do his own thing, whereas there are a lot of stories about how involved Warner Brothers got with Suicide Squad, having other people do a cut of the movie, and so maybe that's it. I don't know. I like the premise of this movie, using mythical creatures to sort of examine the class system that we live in, as well as racism. You know, in this film, the orcs are the lower class, humans are the middle class, and then elves are like the 1%. It Kind of is a little bit similar to District 9 in that way that they use creatures to make an allegory for racism and apartheid. I would argue that District 9 is a much smarter film. And in some cases, this movie just, it's a little bit too on the nose. Like that movie Crash that won an Oscar somehow from a few years ago. Like the whole theme is racism is bad. But it's cool seeing all these, these mythical creatures in like contemporary LA. Like I said, you have orcs and elves, but you also have fairies. And at one point there's this wide shot and you see a dragon or some other kind of winged beast flying over LA. That was cool. And the film opens with this montage of graffiti on the walls of like the inner city of LA. And the art is sort of depicting like the orc struggle and the, the incredible power that the elves wield, and it, it really sets up the world of this film very, very nicely. Talk about acting. Will Smith is Will Smith in this movie. That's not a bad thing. I like Will Smith, but he's not going out of his comfort zone at all in this flick. I like Joel Edgerton a lot in this movie. He plays the orc Nick Jacoby, and the way he plays him, even though he's like totally the good cop, he's like the sweetest guy you could possibly want to know, even though he's an orc, he plays it almost bumbling, it's endearing, and I really liked it. Numi Rapace, I can't really say much about her acting because she's mostly making faces. She's got really good physicality, or at least her stunt double does. She's got literally five or six lines in this movie, and four or five of them are in Elvish, so what can I say? Lucy Fry, I thought was pretty good as the elven girl Tika. I don't want to say any more about her character, but she was good. This film looks great. The Suicide Squad was like drenched in CGI. There's not a lot of visual effects in this movie outside of the magic wand and a couple of explosions. Most of it is practical, and I appreciated that. The special effects make up on the orcs. It's all physical. It's all real. It looks tangible. It looks great. They all look slightly different. They're made to look like a real race of creatures, and I thought the... the Attention to detail was very, very good. The color palette of this film actually works very, very nicely as well. It looks very real, gritty city, but then you get little flares of color because of magic. And magic plays a pretty big role in this flick. I will say I had a problem with the sound mix. Now, maybe this is just my setup. Maybe this is just my speakers, but I haven't noticed it in other movies I've watched recently. But I found that the sound effects and the music were all very high in the mix, and the dialogue was fairly low in that, in a lot of cases, the dialogue was kind of muddy and hard to hear. There's one scene where Will Smith is talking to his character's daughter, and it's in this hallway, and the camera's like way back. Could barely hear what they were saying. Did you notice this? Let me know in the comments. Maybe it's just my speakers, or maybe one too many Pearl Jam concerts have destroyed my hearing. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I will also say this. This movie is clearly a fantasy film, because uh, I've never been to LA, but uh, I know that the traffic in LA, not anywhere as good as it seems to be in this movie. People are just flying along having no problem. It's a blatant falsehood, I tell you. Unfortunately, in the end, the story is not all that interesting. It's got a really good premise that kind of doesn't go anywhere. The third act does get fairly exciting, and then the ending I found really fell flat and was not satisfying. It leaves open room for a sequel, which is already being discussed, and I don't know, I don't think it's really necessary. I, d I don't think I need to go back into this world. This movie isn't horrible. It's not as bad as the internet would have me believe, but it's ultimately fairly forgettable. If you're looking for something a little bit different and you're going to spend a night in with Netflix and chill anyway, you could do worse. But I hope your chill is more satisfying than the Netflix. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to give Bright. And I think I'm going to give Bright a...
out of 10. So now I want to know, what did you think of Bright? Have you seen it? What did you think about it? What's your favorite Netflix movie of the year? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, and subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. You can do so by clicking the Court Shake logo at the bottom right of your screen. Thanks very much for watching. Happy holidays. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.